up everybody and i guess i want to say happy new year considering this is the first episode of 2019 for me so this episode today is what is the first thing i would file whether i was involved in a civil case or a criminal case and this episode today is brought to you by cash app i'm going to leave a link in the description if you don't have it sign up using the link in the description when you have it downloaded and on your phone because it's available on ios as well as android donate to the channel five dollars or more and cash app will send you five dollars so it's the fastest way to send and receive money in the industry with also the lowest fees possible so with that being said let's get into today's lesson what is the first thing I would file okay I spoke several times about the first thing you need to do when you are waiving a right it has to be done in writing now that is why this is the first thing I would do when involved in either a civil case or a criminal case I would make sure there was a written waiver of my right to counsel by a bar card carrying attorney or representative here's why if I'm going to represent my own interests in any matter I want to make sure that that waiver is written because I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of videos where there's a person that's standing up and they're speaking before a judge or standing in the courtroom and they have somebody standing behind them that's a bar cart carrying certified member that's because they have to when your liberty is at stake they have to appoint someone now when you are waiving that right to their counsel and it's done in writing it is done with clear intent and glasser v united states 315 us 60 for a waiver to be effective it must be clearly established that there is no intentional relinquishment or abandonment of a known right or privilege also see brookhart v jansen 384 us 1 and it's a 1966 case because both of these are things that need to establish the fact that you are waiving your right to counsel that is represented by the bar number two you put together a motion that is a notice of appearance why would you do that because everyone standing before the judge in any legal matter must fill out a representation motion and that is a motion of appearance this is an example of the motion that was put forth by the attorney for a young man that's in federal court at this very moment and he's a celebrity because he's a rapper or whatever and this is the motion that was presented to the judge because he was also replacing the his previous counsel And the reason you do this is because Chandler v. Freytag, 348 U.S. 3, 1954. Everyone has the right to be heard through their own counsel, even if unqualified. Because whenever you're understanding what unqualified means, it means unrestricted. The Constitution of the United States of America places the restriction on government that you have the right to counsel and you have the choice of counsel not the quality which is why they give you trashy ass public defenders that are overworked underpaid and are wanting to deal because the quality is not an issue it's only the fact that you have it now understanding when you waive your right to counsel you also waive your right on appeal for ineffectiveness of counsel so keep that in mind as well 
And after you do those two things, the last thing that you file is your motion for discovery. Because what you want to know is anything and everything they have, especially probable cause. Because probable cause is the only thing that can be used and presented to make sure this contest moves forward. And if it is a criminal accusation, you want any and all warrants. You want any and all audio. You want any and all video that pertains to that. Even if it is a 911 call, you want everything because this allows you to see the hand that they are trying to deal you. So keep that in mind. First, you waive your right to bar card carrying counsel. Second, you file a motion of appearance, which is your notice of appearance that you are representing your own interests. Third, you file your motion for discovery. Now, you get ready to start eating. Until next time.